Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the estimation of power of white Gaussian noise and also verify the existence of sufficient statistic using the Neyman Fisher factorization theorem. So, given the model x of n is equal to w of n, that is the noise w of n is n values equal to 0 to n minus 1 and w of n following a Gaussian distribution with mean 0 and variance sigma square here sigma square is unknown. So, first let us look at the maximum likelihood estimator for the unknown parameter sigma square. So, the probability distribution of the observations with the unknown parameter sigma square is the product n equal to 0 to n minus 1 probability of x of n the parameter sigma square which is equal to the product n equal to 0 to n minus 1, 1 by 2 pi sigma square power 1 by 2 exponential of minus x square of n over 2 sigma square. So, the unknown parameter sigma square can be determined by maximizing the log likelihood function that is logarithm of the probability of the set of observations x with unknown parameter sigma square. So, this can be achieved by equating the first derivative of the log likelihood function to 0 that is the derivative with respect to sigma square of this logarithm of this product logarithm of this product which is pi n equal to the product n equal to 0 to n minus 1 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 multiplied by exponential of minus x square of n over 2 sigma square and this derivative should be equal to 0. So, since logarithm of the product becomes sum of logarithms, we have the derivative with respect to sigma square of minus n by 2 logarithm of 2 pi sigma square minus the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n over 2 sigma and this derivative is clearly equal to, and this derivative should be equal to 0. So, the derivative of the first term is minus n by 2 into 1 by sigma square and for the second term we have minus of minus 1 by 2 times sigma power 4 into summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n and this should be equal to 0. And upon rearrangement, we can clearly see that the maximum likelihood estimator for the unknown parameter sigma square is equal to 1 by n, the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. Therefore, we can see that the statistic is equal to t of x equal to the sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. So, the statistic is given by the sum of the squares of the observations. Now, let us look at the probability distribution of the observations in the parameter sigma square which is equal to 1 by 2 pi sigma square power n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square into sum n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x square of n. Clearly, this can be written as 1 by 2 pi sigma square over n by 2 exponential of minus 1 by 2 sigma square t of x since the sum is basically the statistic and then we have value 1. So, this function is the function g of t of x comma sigma square and this is h of x which is basically a or constant function. Therefore, the Neyman Fisher factorization is satisfied and T of x is a sufficient statistic for estimation of the unknown parameter sigma square. Thanks for watching.